Hey, this is Austin again. Um, I just finished finally getting this uh, LCD screen <clears throat> um, back panel light to work with its original um, uh, cold cathode. And sorry if I'm talking slow, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the nice thing that I've been able to do is I've got it uh, dimming. And I'll let you see it dim. Uh, it's dimming uh, using pulse width modulation. I don't know if this is at 250 value and it's slowly going down. And it'll go all the way to zero. Uh, I'm using an Arduino um, uh, Pro uh, 3 volts to control all the logic for the uh, backlight. You can see the backlight just got all the way down. The camera's kind of automatically adjusting. Now it's now it's practically off. It's going to pulse back up, uh, and how it's doing it. I'll show you this. I'll try and get out of the light. It's got uh, at least six pins. It's got two black, two red, and then a gray and white. Uh, the gray ones used to turn on the uh, uh, panel uh, by applying three volts, and then the white one is used to control dimming. Uh, you can give it 3 volts uh, for full brightness, and then the uh, lower you go uh, down to ground, uh, the dimmer it gets. Um, uh, if you unplug the, uh, the white pen, it will go to a default 50% brightness. Uh, right now I have the Arduino, um, uh, uh, the pulse width modulation operating at beyond 16 uh, uh, hertz. And I did that with this code right here. And that could be found at the Arduino uh, Playground uh, Timer Pulse Width Modulation Cheat Sheet. Uh, so you can change the hertz rate, and by bumping up the hertz rate, I got a very nice, smooth um, uh, dimmer. So there's only a little bit of flicker here and there at the at the, the dimmer settings. That looks really good. I'm very happy with that. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some of my other back panels from some busted uh, other busted screens working like this. I am very happy with that. Anyway, that concludes this video.